Da-da. Oh. Oh, hang on. Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome to the first Mood by Innocent Bones unboxing of 2022. I'm really excited to have you here as we dive into January's box, so let's get started. <music> So this is going to be the first box of 2022 and I have a feeling that, did I say 2020 earlier? Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> I have a feeling that Grace has made the theme something to do with the start of the year and everything. So that's really great. That's really exciting. So let's just dive straight in. Well, it's snail pace. <laughs> hey -ya! Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. So here is your sneak peek of the box, the Get It Done box, because we are a family friendly channel here, so we will just say the It box. <laughs> so the Get It Done box is the theme for this this month, I suppose, the start of the year. So okay, and initially on the top, ooh, on the top is the actual cross stitch kit. Don't think I've put my brain in this morning. <laughs> I'm not really sure what the, what the design will be if it's Get It Done. Don't know whether Grace will go for some text or if she'll go for lots of colors. Let's have a look. Good things are coming. This is cute, I like this. So we have a really pretty rainbow and then it says good things are coming with some roses on the top. So it's quite simple. So I'm hoping that means easy. <laughs> because last time, last month's box, which was November's box, was actually a really complex design. I'm still finishing that. So this looks more simple because it's quite concentrated in the center. So I guess I will, oh, having said that though, I'm gonna have to be really careful about going around the letters with the colors, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> So something I didn't realize until later is Grace had actually created two designs and one of them is a more adult version that you can enjoy as you can see here. Let's have a look at the colors that we have. It's gonna be a black in there somewhere, there we go. Okay, so we have a nice black thread, which we always have. This purple, which is kind of a lilac -y purple. I quite like that, actually. It's like a mauve. That's a nice colour. And then more of a vibrant pinky. And then a chartreuse greeny yellow colour, which is nice. So obviously, you know, you don't have to do the colours in the exact pattern or anything. I, don't, I think that it's very open to you enjoying it with your creativity. And then we, of course, have our hoop. I was going to say our ring. And, and Aida and cloth and everything else we need is included in here. So that's exciting. I like the design. So immediately on top, we have Happy Oat Milk Chocolate Cocoa Nibs Crunch. Mine's a little bit open, but that's fine. You know, if it was trying to eat itself. So it's just a bar of chocolate with some cocoa nibs in, which is nice. Obviously that must be vegan. I'm pretty sure that Grace always tries to be vegan and eco-friendly. Yeah, it says here, no dairy, rich and creamy, vegan friendly, fully sustainable. So that's really nice. I guess that could be, it's from at happy free from. So that is obviously an Instagram account that you can check out. Then we have a little sticker that says not in the mood, which <laughs> that'll be interesting. I'm not sure where I can, I it. Do you think it's an iron-on patch or is it a sticker sticker? If it's an iron-on patch, that's cool, but it's still cool if it's a sticker. Do you love a good sticker? So I'll see what it says on the little cheat sheet about that. Oh, cute! Then Grace has given us two pastel highlighters. Do you love my pastels? This kind of pastel baby blue and... Oh, hang on, let me just get that fluff off. And this one, which is like a pastel lime green, which is nice. So that's obviously for getting it done, right? Crossing things off the list, which... <laughs> I have actually just invested in a planner. I know, me being organized, what? So that's pretty cool. And then, oh, there's two more things in here. Oh, great, okay. We have a tiny pink storage crate. How cute is that? Let me just get that out and we can have a little look. I feel like it'll just open itself up, right? Here's me, I'm gonna evidently make a mess of this. Oh, it's, oh, it. <laughs> it's tied to, 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 it's tied together so let me just cut that and then I can get inside and not look like an absolute silly billy for not being able to open I guess I think yeah okay I don't really know how to put this together <laughs> why am I so useless at anything practical like honestly oh okay I think it just did that go more that way I'm n I don't want to break it I'm really nervous to break it oh okay that one's gone in that one's gone in it's just this one that doesn't want to go in don't get why that one doesn't want to go in get it done <laughs> Done it! Yay! Woo! 
Oh, who needs Lego when you can play with this? Great, well that's really cute. I like that little crate. Do you know what I actually will probably end up using that for? Is putting in my business receipts and then I can use my highlighter to put which kind of expenses it is. So that's actually really helpful, Grace, thank you. <laughs> Wow, that was painful watching me put that together. I might have to cut some of that down because you guys are gonna be like, Phew. okay. And then the final item we have is, I think it looks like sticky notes, but it's, it says, good morning, tasks, notes, appointments, reminders. That's cute. So you can, I guess, pop that on your desk and rip off the page once you've used it each day or each month, depending on how organized or how full your schedule is. And then you can use your lovely highlighters, which is really exciting. So that's really nice. I always love how Grace is just so on point with her themes. I just feel like she brings everything together really nicely in each box, which is exciting. And, and the design is really cute. I really like the design. So let's see what the cheat sheet says. It says A5 notepad and sticker. Okay, so it is definitely a sticker. That's good. I think I got a, a not in the mood day sticker, but I don't know if you could also get a get it done sticker as well. Then you get a pink mini crate for organizing your craft stash. So as I say, I'll probably use that for my business because I already am using the zip up bag that we got a couple of months ago for my threads. Wow, I really didn't put my brain in. Happy chocolate, oh, the highlighters. And then it has the contributors for this month's box or the collaborators on the back as well. So you can check out their Instagram. So that's really cute. I really like that. I just feel like it's really useful. The thing I love about the mood subscription box is that everything's just really well thought out, really beautifully planned and it just gels together really nicely. It brings in other collaborators. And so, yeah, they're really useful things. And each time I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, do I have the space for another cross stitch? Which obviously, you know, we try and make space. <laughs> but then the items are just so awesome. And I've seen a sneak peek for the March box and it looks really cute. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Looking forward to that. So, and I will also insert the finished cross stitch from the November box, which has taken me a while because as I say, it's quite an intricate detailed design, but I really enjoyed it and I love the colors in it. So I'm really excited. I wanted to get that one as close to the design as possible and I struggled. <laughs> if you guys remember from that last video I really struggled with that and even when I was filling in the colors I was like this is just not going to plan so it's just it's just a free-for-all it's just a creative space that I've had to go into with that one because apparently I don't know how to read and count so <laughs> I'll insert the clip for that for you guys now. I am so happy I have just finished this one. Obviously I still need to sew the backing on and make it look a bit neater, but I'm so happy it's finished. It's actually taken me four months to complete this and I mean, I love it, to be honest with you. I love the colours and I love that I left a couple of bits with little like white out squares to make them pop. And I just think it's really cute. I'm really happy with it, to be honest with you. I just can't believe how long it took me. <laughs> It took me so long. Let me show you a closer. I just think the colours are lovely and yeah I'm really happy with it to be honest with you. I know it's really not perfect and obviously I made a few mistakes but honestly I think it looks really nice and I think it's going to be just a beautiful addition to my bookshelves. So yeah I'm really happy. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in next week's video. <laughs> Don't know why I've got that in my head. Right, where are my glasses? Because I can't even see. Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. Am I on? We got it on like Donkey Kong. I feel like, is that going to be close enough or shall I do it? Shall I do it there? Is that definitely right? I don't know. We'll say it is. I'm really worried that I'm blurry. <laughs> I'm worried that I'm blurry! I think they're the hell of that. Speak. The thing I love about the subscription box, next month's I say, I've seen a sneak peek and I've seen a sneak, and I've seen, <laughs> oh god, this is just embarrassing. Oh no, and I've got sunlight on me, so it's gonna make a really weird shadow on me.